Here we are, stuck in traffic. And Scott has to go potty. Bad. I offered him this to go in, but um, he turned me down, so. I mean, I'd be happy if I was a guy and I could just use that right now. I'm Tammy, and this is my husband, Scott. We are two artists who, when faced with mounting health challenges, decided life's way too short. So we sold our home and most of our stuff to move into a home on wheels. We are now in our second year in an even smaller RV, and along with Gracie and Jasper, we've hit the road full time in search of new landscapes, experiences, and friends. We'd love to have you join us as we navigate our way through this RV lifestyle, and until further notice, our mission is explore, create, and inspire. Hang in there, babe. Just, just because we're near Niagara Falls and the Great Lakes, all the water, don't think of any of that. How many ounces is that bottle? 12 fluid ounces. 12 ounces, that's not gonna cut it. I have two of them, babe. That's 24 fluid ounces for you right there. I mean, we literally could have played a whole game of Blancas. Would you hold me if I told you we can just run away? So come, my darling, let me help you. We're in New York. The, the state of New York. We're not going to the city in New York. Just got a peak of Lake Erie back there between semis. We may not have seen all the Great Lakes that we plan to see, but at least we're going to see one of them. We're sitting on the shore of Lake Erie, almost sunset. Alright, that was our quick stay over at the KOA in Westfield, New York. Right across the street from Lake Erie, we got to watch a nice sunset. They have a dog park, nice sight. We just had water electric, and now we're KOA hopping because that's all that was available till we get to Maine. So our next stop is Cooperstown, New York. Headlights are required when using wipers. What does that mean? Can somebody tell us? New York. Well, at least we get to come back to the same hotel room every night, no matter where we're at. Right, Gracie? I wonder if the animals know that our house is always behind us when we're going down the road. Anyway, we're home. This is a pretty cool KOA. It's kind of out in the boondocks. We've got farm fields all around us. Yeah, remember in Field of Dreams, they had a baseball field out in the middle of cornfields and out in the country? That's just like where we're at here. And we're just a few miles from the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown. So that's gonna be cool. Looks like my field of dreams right there. It's so beautiful. It's kind of out and about, not like your typical off the interstate KOA. Got all these rolling pastures and farmlands and wheat fields and now a sunset. Sometimes you come across these unexpected surprises when you're just traveling through. This is one of them. No highway noise. Just the birds, the cows, the smell of wheat and manure. <laughs> Since we're in Cooperstown, New York, we thought we'd better go and check out town. We didn't even know the Baseball Hall of Fame is here. Okay, ready to go visit the Baseball Hall of Fame town that we didn't even know was here when we made the reservation. Had no idea. That's how we do things. That's how we roll around here. We just trip upon treasures. We're gonna do the trolley because we read that there's really no room to park big trucks in town. You can park at one of the trolley lots and do the trolley you know, hop on and off for like two bucks a person. Change of plans. The trolley machine wasn't working. And uh, anyway, we drove into town. So no parking over 20 feet or 22 feet. 
but we found a $15 pay all day parking lot and we found a spot we go back into and fit in. So let's go see what there is to see in Cooperstown. It's so cute. Okay, so this is Double Day Field. Beautiful little baseball stadium. And Abner Double Day, right there, was the guy that invented baseball, right here on in this corner in this deep field. Turns out that none of that may be true, that they debunked the whole Abner story. But the baseball hall of fame fame's still here and, and it's pretty impressive. They have a baseball camps here. This is uh, yeah, Trendon and Holden, our grandson's dream to come here. I feel a little guilty we're not here uh, with them, but you guys need to put this on your bucket list. Yeah, apparently it was an old sand lot. I mean, I'm seeing uh, Kevin Costner and the Field of Dreams signature all over this place, but we're not in Iowa. I think they put the Field of Dreams in the wrong place. Okay, well maybe the life-size sculpture wasn't Abner Doubleday himself, but I bet Abner looked a lot like that. <laughs> Typical us just making stuff up. That was actually a Sandlot kid. So it was the movie The Sandlot based after this place? We know nothing, obviously. We don't know our baseball. Nace, you probably know. Someone comment below, tell us. There's the National Baseball Hall of Fame right there in Little Cooperstown, New York. I gotta tell ya, this is one of those places we were just passing through and we're wishing we had a week because there's amazing art museums and the lake. We may come back, we may come back. And um, in other news, our valves won't open on our gray tank. I went to dump this morning, um, went to dump the gray and nothing came out lights not coming on and i could hear a little bit of a click at first and then it seemed like it diminished well the, as i look online it looks like there's a uh, a grenade pin that attaches the motor to the valve itself that probably fell off and so in order to get to that you got to pull these walls out in the storage unit and that's what i'm doing now because our valves aren't a pull handle valve, they're a push button valve, which was one of our concerns when we got this. We didn't like the idea of a push button valve because what if the button didn't work? So I'm hoping all it is is a pin fell off. This guy wants me to crawl into the cavity and assess the valve situation. We, uh, we both have bad knees. <laughs> okay. Inside, there's a black thing. There's no way on earth anyone bigger than me could get to where the gray valve is. And um, I'm gonna need a massage. But the valve seems like it's working, so I don't know what's going on. Maybe we have a clog. Anyway, it's down in the nethers, and you have to you have to somehow make your body into different shapes and get through plumbing and wires and tubes to reach down and get the gray tank. The valves are working just fine. I think our sensor has something on it, just like with the black tank. So we're gonna put some chemicals in it and see if it'll swish about as we drive and clean it up. Good morning, everyone. So it's leave day. We're gonna head to Vermont today. Unfortunately, it's raining and it's gonna get worse. So we're trying to get out of here before it does get worse. But rainy days means when you bring the slides and the water gets all over. So we're putting tank tech in the gray tank to see if that helps solve our sensor problem. It's all natural probiotic and we're going to be moving today so it's a good time to put it in and we're going to be sitting without a dump for a while so it can do its business. Hopefully it'll work. We'll let you know. What are your travel snacks? So here's Scott's travel snack cupboard. He likes Twizzlers on the road. 
Lara bars, Cliff bars, a sandwich, coffee. That's that's pretty much what'll do them. All right, just one uh, small waterfall inside the RV as we brought the slide in. I'll have some cleaning to do when we get there. But yeah, Vermont, here we come. Tomorrow is Scott's birthday. Hopefully it's a sunny day for his birthday. All right, babe, the inside is done. Are you ready to get hitched? I'd marry you all over again, but get your ass back there and hitch us up. See what I put up with? Feels good to be in Vermont. And it is drop dead gorgeous here. The covered bridges and the waterfalls and oh, that's a quaint villages of Queechee and Woodstock. Have we kissed under this bridge yet? We have to kiss under every bridge? Yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing we started. We kiss in every covered bridge. Let's get to it, babe. It's not mistletoe. It's my mistletoe. Can nope, we're not in the bridge. Let's go. No.